Hello mga kawamat! Sa video lesson na ito, i-discuss natin on how to divide polynomials using long division. Okay, ito yung mga steps in dividing polynomials using long division. Una, we need to arrange the dividend and the divisor in decreasing power of exponent. Take note, insert zeros as coefficient of the missing terms of each polynomial if necessary. Number two, divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. Number three, multiply the partial quotient to the divisor. Number four, subtract the result from the dividend. And for step number five, bring down the next term in the dividend and last, repeat the process until done. Okay, so let's have an example. Divide x cubed minus 4x squared plus 3x minus 6 by x minus 2. So, gamit yung mga steps na yan. So, para maging guided tayo sa pag-solve ng polynomial using the long division. So, una, dapat naka-arrange yung power in decreasing order. So, tingnan natin. So, na dapat ang start natin dito ay 3 since yung pinaka-highest degree. So, dapat ang, kusunod, ang kasunod niyan is 2 and ang kasunod is 1. So, ba yung exponent dito, 3, 2, 1 and then yung constant term. So, dulong-dulo yung constant term. Ngayon, class, since lahat naman ay walang nawawalang term, so therefore, we can proceed now in dividing the uh, polynomials by x minus 2. So, ang tawag natin sa loob, that is the dividend, at yung x minus 2 naman, yan yung divisor. Okay, ano yung pangalawang step? Divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. So, i-divide daw natin. So, using the laws of exponent, x cubed minus x. So, kapag nag-divide tayo, kapag same yung base nila, anong ginagawa sa exponent? So, sinosubtract natin. So, 3 minus 1. So, may 1 to yung, yung nasa denominator natin. So, 3 minus 1, the answer is 2. Therefore, x cubed divide x, the answer is x squared. And after that, so step number 3, we need to multiply the partial quotient to the divisor. So partial pa lang kasi hindi pa tapos. Okay? So i-multiply natin si x squared kay x minus 2. And that is x cubed minus 2x squared. Paano nangyari? x squared times x. So kapag nag-multiply naman tayo with the same base, nag a tayo ng exponent. Kapag nagdi-divide, nagsusubtract. So, kapag nagmumultiply tayo, ina-add natin yung exponent. So, 2 plus 1 dito yung exponent ni x. So, that is 2 plus 1 kaya x cubed. Then, x squared times negative 2, that is negative 2 x squared. And after that, anong next step? Subtract the result from the dividend. So, x cubed. So, ito muna, i-minus muna natin to x cubed minus x cubed, the answer is 0. So, hindi na natin ilagay. Next, negative 4x squared minus negative 2x squared. So, the answer is, so, negative 4x squared minus negative 2x squared. Diba, magiging plus to because negative times negative, positive. So, negative 4x squared plus 2x squared, the answer is negative 2x squared. And then, after that, bring down positive 3x. Okay. So, uulit na naman tayo sa step number 2. Okay. Uulit na naman tayo sa step number 2. So, ano yung gagawin? Divide natin yung first term ng dividend natin sa first term ng divisor. So, negative 2x squared divide x. So, copy negative 2. And then, x squared divide x. The answer is x. Bakit? 2 minus 1, so 1 na yun, so hindi, ko na ila, hindi na natin ilagay yung exponent na 1 dyan. So, therefore, negative 2x squared divide x, the answer is negative 2x. And then, anong kasunod? Step number 3 na tayo. So, negative 2x multiply to x minus 2. So, negative 2x times x, the answer is negative 2x squared. Negative 2x times negative 2, that is positive 4x. And then, 
step number 4 tayo. So, step number 4, subtract the result from the dividend. So, 2x squared minus 2x squared, the answer is 0. So, hindi na natin ilagay. 3x minus 4x, so 3x minus 4x is negative x. So, that is negative x. And then, step number 5, bring down the next term. And that is negative 6. Then, ulit-ulit tayo sa step number 2. So, divide ulit, negative x, divide x, the answer is negative 1. And then, multiply the partial quotient, ah, uh, yeah, multiply negative 1 to x minus 2. So, negative 1 times x, that is negative x. Negative 1 times negative 2, positive 2. And then, subtract the result from the dividend. So, negative x minus negative x, the answer is 0. Negative 6 plus 2, the answer of uh, negative 6 minus 2, the answer is negative 8. Okay, so meron tayong remainder na negative 8. So therefore, paano natin ilagay yung final answer natin? So the quotient is x squared minus 2x minus 1 plus meron tayong remainder plus negative 8 over x minus 2. So, kapag meron tayong remainder, ilalagay natin, i-add natin yung remainder over yung divisor natin. So, ganyan natin ilagay yung final answer niya. Okay, mag a tayo. So, bakit minus? Kasi yung 8 natin dito negative. Okay? So, ganyan nyo ilagay yung final answer. Next. Divide 2x cubed plus 8 by 3x plus 2. Okay, uh, kagaya na sinabi natin kanina, so 27x cubed plus 8. So, yung highest degree natin is 3, and then yung constant term is 8. So, sabi dito, dapat naka-decreasing power yung exponent natin. And then, mag-insert tayo ng 0 kapag merong missing terms. Okay, kung ang, dahil ito lang yung given, 27x cubed saka 8, meron tayong dalawang term na nawawala. So, mag insert tayo ng 0. Paano natin malalaman na kung ilang term yung nawawala? Kung ang given ay 3, dapat ang kasunod niyan ay 2 at ang kasunod niyan ay 1. Since yung dalawa na to ay wala sa given, so therefore, dalawang term ang lagyan natin ng 0. Okay. So, proceed na tayo. So, divide na natin si yung first term ng dividend doon sa first term ng divisor. 27x cubed divide 3x, the answer is, so 27 divide 3, that is 9, x cubed min, uh, divide x, that is, uh, sub, subtract the exponent, so 3 minus 1, that is x squared. So therefore, 27x cubed divide 3x, the answer is 9x squared. And then, multiply 9x squared to 3x plus 2, so 9x squared times 3x, that is 27x cubed. 9x squared times 2, that is 18x squared. And then, subtract. So, 0 na yan. So, 0x squared minus 18x squared, the answer is negative 18x squared. And then, after that, bring down 0x. Okay, then repeat ulit tayo sa process. So, divide natin ulit. So, repeat tayo sa step number 2. Negative 18x squared divide 3x, the answer is negative 6x. Okay, and then step number 3, multiply negative 6x to 3x plus 2. So negative 6x times 3x, that is negative 18x squared. Negative 6x times 2, that is negative 12x. And then step number 4, subtract. So 18x squared minus negative 18x squared, that is 0. And then... 0 minus uh, negative 12, the answer is, since uh, 0x minus negative 12x, it will become positive, so therefore that is 12x. In step number 5, bring down the next term, and that is positive 8, so 12x plus 8. Then, ulit tayo sa step number 2, so divide 12x, divide 3x, the answer is 4, so plus 4. And then, multiply 4 to 3x plus 2. So, 4 times 3x, that is 12x. 4 times 2, that is 8. So, nakikita natin, kapag sinubtract natin yan, since same naman sila, parehong-pareho, pag sinubtract natin yan, the answer is 0. So, therefore, the answer is 
9x squared minus 6x plus 4. Wala tayong remainder. Okay? Okay, example number 3. Divide 3x cubed plus 3x squared minus 1 plus 3x to the 5th minus 2x to the 4th by x squared plus 1. Okay, pansinin natin yung given na dividend. Hindi naka-arrange. Okay, so dapat i-arrange natin yan. So dapat mauna yung 3x to the 5th and then susundan ni negative 2x to the 4th plus 3x cubed plus 3x squared, and then wala tayong degree na 1. Kaya mag insert tayo ng 0. Okay? Minus 1. So, last part natin yung constant term natin. So, gamit kanina yung mga natutunan nyo. So, anong unang gagawin? Divide natin yung first term dun sa first term ng dividend sa first term ng divisor. So, 3x to the fifth, divide x squared. So, copy 3 x to the 5th divide x squared, that is 3 uh, x cubed. Kasi 5 minus 2, that is 3. So therefore, 3 x to the 5th divide x squared, the answer is 3 x cubed. And then after that, multiply 3 x cubed times x squared, that is 3 x to the 5th. And 3 x cubed plus one, uh, times 1, that is 3 x cubed. Bakit hindi natin nilagay dito sa tapat ng may uh, in the fourth power? Bakit? Kasi class... Uh, Kung ano yung power natin or yung exponent natin, doon din mismo natin itapat. Since 3x cubed times 1 is 3x cubed, dito natin itatapat. Okay? Doon sa katapat niya na kaparehong exponent. And after that, subtract. So, ito magiging 0 na. And then, ito 0 din kapag minus natin. So, may iwan to. Kailangan natin to i-bring down. So, that is negative 2x4. So, you bring down natin yan, negative 2x to the 4th, and then yung, ibibring down natin yung next term, and that is positive 3x squared. So, ulit-ulit tayo sa step. So, sa step number 2, anong gagawin? Divide the first term of the dividend sa first term ng divisor. So, negative 2x to the 4th, divide x squared. So, the answer is? Negative 2x squared. Okay? Kasi 4 minus 2, that is 2. So, the answer is negative 2x squared. And then, after that, negative 2x squared times x squared plus 1. Negative 2x squared times x squared is negative 2x to the 4th. And negative 2x squared times 1 is negative 2x squared. So, hindi natin itatapat dito kay 3x cubed. Dito natin siya itatapat kay 3x squared. Okay? And then, subtract. So, ito magiging 0 na yan kasi parehas naman sila. So, 3x squared minus negative 2x squared. So, paano nangyari na 5? 3 minus negative 2. So, magiging plus yon Tama? So, 3 plus 2, that is 5x squared. And bring down the next term. And since 0 na yung kasunod, yung 0x, so, bring down natin yung negative 1. Okay? And then, proceed ulit tayo. Divide 5x squared, divide x squared. The answer is 5. And then, multiply 5 times x squared. That is uh, 5 times x squared plus 1. So, that is 5x squared. And 5 times 1, that is positive 5. And then, subtract. Okay, 0 na yan. So, negative 1 minus 5. So, kapag nilagay natin yan, negative 1 minus 5. The answer is negative 6. So, therefore, meron tayong remainder na negative 6. So, the final answer is 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5 minus 6 over x squared plus 1. Minus dito kasi class, uh, negative 6 yung remainder natin. So, kapag positive yung remainder natin, plus ang ilalagay nyo dito. So, kailangan i-over natin sa divisor natin, yung x squared plus 1. Okay? So, Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your Wow Math channel.